Hello everyone and welcome to the podcast for Closer to Free Part 2. Well, what I can say about this episode is that it was better than Part 1, but it still wasn't that good. The Jenna storyline, while it is interesting and new to Degrassi, seeing someone get baptized on Degrassi is, you know, a cool thing, and having her be in church and, you know, that whole sort of thing is definitely interesting, but I don't know, to me, I'm just not really clicking with it. Maybe it's because I can't stand Jenna, well, actually, that pretty much is what it is. As much as I try, I just cannot get into her character. You know, I just, I love the scene with her and Allie, though, in the bathroom. Um, the scene with Allie and her mom was pretty good. And once again, you know, talking about parents who really helped the show. And her mom, once again, gave a great performance, a great scene with the, with the three of them, Allie's mom. Just the whole thing with Jenna, I don't know, I, I just can't get behind it. Becky wasn't as, you know, annoying as last night's episode, but... I just, I'm happy for a break, you know, from them for the rest of the week now. We need some more Luke, though, so we can see more, you know, what he's all about. And I think we're going to get, you know, some more of that. They're setting up something for that to come, so that will be good to see. I did like the final scene, and I thought that was pretty good. You know, and I, I mean, I guess I'm being too harsh, you know, that I don't like Jenna, I don't like this, it's bad, it's bad. You know, it's, it's really hard to explain. I mean, I don't know, I just... I get so confused when I try to talk about, you know, Jenna and that plot. It's just, there's something about her that just doesn't let me fully enjoy what that character does on screen. And, you know, that's that's really all I have to say about it. You know, and back to the Claire plot. The whole thing just is so juvenile and, you know, it's trending in Toronto. I mean, I can't get behind this plot either. You know, I did like the Eli and Claire scene, and once again, I talked about how when they're not actually doing relationship type things, and they're just talking and interacting with each other, you know, they're great, and that was a great scene with the, with those two. I will admit, I did like the spoof video, you know, with KC and Connor and Adam and all them, you know, acting like Claire. That was funny. But just in general, the whole plot, it's just... It just felt so silly and just so, like, you know, what is the point of it? Why do we need this? I just feel like there's other things they could have had, you know, done involving Claire at the internship. And speaking of the whole inappropriate, you know, kissing slash touching type thing, I thought they would have, you know, showed it by now, but I guess it's coming tomorrow. So they're certainly taking their time and building that up a bit. And I like the pace, you know, sometimes it's good to kind of draw things out a bit and you know, keep it on the back burner and then, you know, bring it to the front and, you know, kind of excite and shock the viewers. So I am looking forward to more of the internship. Once again, the strong point of the episode and the saving grace for the most part was Drew. Him living with Fiona will certainly be a cool thing to see and I hope they really are able to, you know, play that out. I get the feeling that Bianca's sort of up to something, you know, she's obviously not going to stand for Drew dropping out of school just like that, you know, especially as you would expect Bianca to be the kind of person who would drop out, and, you know, now she's kind of changed her life around, and Drew is kind of going down this path. It might not necessarily be bad, it's not the best or reliable of plans, but, you know, he's young, he has this thought in his mind, he wants to, you know, do it himself, he thinks he knows everything, so I really am excited to find out more what will happen, you know, to Drew and, and about his concussions, you know, is something going to come back to harm him, is he going to get hurt again, who knows where this could go, but there's just such potential, you know, with Drew and in so many different aspects, you know, with his job, living with Fiona, the stuff with Bianca. Everything that Drew's been involved in, to me, has always been some of the best parts of the show lately. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will talk to you all soon.